hi guys welcome to my channel thanks for clicking on the video i'm leah and if you're new welcome and please hit that subscribe button i'd love that so you could get updated on all my new videos about health fitness beauty um, nursing nutrition basically anything you could think of so this video will be about the 10 things that you should know as a new nurse. Whether you're a new LPN or a new RN, these are 10 things that I feel like you should know because like sometimes people don't really tell you everything that you really should know. And I'm a new nurse. I've been a nurse since February of 2019. And these are just things that I wish I had have known <laughs> but that's why I'm here to tell you so let's get into it so number one of the 10 things you should know about your first year in nursing um, you will be nervous after you take the NCLEX <clears throat> so and you'll probably even feel like oh my god I felt <gasps> but guess what sis you probably didn't <laughs> because I took it and I got to like question 120 and I was like, okay, I never even heard of anybody getting to 120. <laughs> so I had in my mind like, okay, I, once you get to 85, your chances are going down. So I was just like, I left so defeated, but I passed, of course. Like, what was I even afraid of? I did well, you'll do well. The NCLEX, they make it like, woo, but you made it through nursing school, you'll be fine. All right, that's one. Here's number two, believe in yourself because you passed the NCLEX, you're a competent nurse. I know you might feel like, okay, that was the NCLEX, that was more like textbook knowledge, like, you know, what, what I should do, when, 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 but it's more than that because you're, you're proving to yourself when you pass the NCLEX that you're competent like you're not gonna go do something crazy you obviously have the knowledge that you need to be a good nurse and you're gonna be a good nurse so don't feel nervous don't feel bad you're great I believe in you you believe in yourself all right number three keep in contact with your professors from school um Keep in contact with them as references, also as mentors, because these women or men have been nurses for some time, and it's never bad to have someone who's been there, done that. Also, jobs that you apply for, they'll probably ask for, like, <clears throat> references, definitely if you're a new nurse, like, and they know, like, hey, she doesn't have work experience, so let's you know let's see how she was in school how did she perform so it's always good to keep in contact with them i had like two professors that were really for me through nursing school they really helped me a lot and i just appreciate them and i kept in contact with them and it's it's always good to not forget about people but actually help use them and not use them but <laughs> if they can help you I'm sure they wouldn't mind so keep in contact with them all right number four home health is a great field to go into that's what I do right now I uh, work in home health I'm a pediatric home health nurse so I go to families of children who are um, probably sick or so, have some type of illness and I am an in-home nurse for them the patient I work with currently I actually go to school with him so um, home health is great especially if you're a new nurse this has been my first job and I've been with them since February it, it's almost December and I'm not complaining like it, it's great like I really really love it um, also as an LPN, if you're an LPN new nurse, they will probably say like home health and long-term care are like the two good ones that you should try to go into. But you could do different things within those two. 
um so yeah home health's a good one um long-term care is good as well i actually interviewed for a long-term care position coming out of nursing school and they told me that i could potentially have up to 30 patients yeah that didn't sound <laughs> too appealing to me so i just like you know, maybe not. Um, I just don't want to feel overwhelmed. Like, I didn't want to have a whole bunch of things going on. And then I have CNAs working under me. I have never been a CNA. I went right into nursing school with no experience in the healthcare. Um, in healthcare. And... You know, I, I made it through nursing school. I never was held back. I um, passed the NCLEX the first time. And that's another thing. Never feel like, okay, I don't have any experience. I don't know if I could do it. You could do it. Because if I did it, <laughs> you could do it. Trust me. It's, if you have a passion for nursing, you can do it. But, um, yeah, home health. It's, it's great. Um, Long-term care is good too, but just be prepared to like be on the go. And if you like that, then go into it, girl, because you're never going to be bored sitting around twirling your fingers. You're always going to have something to do, some you know, someone to see. So long-term care is, is good as well. All right. So that was number four. Number five. Um... <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry it's okay to have more than one job like if you want to have two jobs that's great um just don't overwork yourself don't feel like okay I'm a nurse I'm ready to hit the ground running and I'm gonna do this 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 it's okay like <laughs> you can take your time not to say that like just don't hustle but don't overwork yourself it's okay to have more than one job, but don't overdo it. Because who wants to get burned out their first year in nursing? No one. I did it, and I did it. So, <laughs> just keep that in mind. All right? That was number five. Number six. Many jobs are going to be after you. Like, I think right after I passed the NCLEX, I started applying places and people were like calling me left and right, left and right. So it's definitely a demand for nursing. I live in North Carolina. Um, it's different any place you go, obviously, but there's always a place that needs a nurse. So, um, yeah, just be prepared for people to be calling you and you're gonna love that obviously that's why you became a nurse so you can always have a job and always provide for your family and be great and be good okay so let's see also when this is part of number number six so also don't take the first offer and sell yourself so they might they might say like oh we'll offer you this is that fine and then you should see if you can get more because they like they'll just tell you something and they'll feel like okay she's a new nurse so she doesn't really you know but sell yourself tell them like hey i'm a new nurse but i know gtube i know trig i know wound care i know vents i know you know or you can potentially get there like you're eager to learn and you feel like you should get a little bit more because and if they don't want to do it you know your worth i'll say that like you know what you deserve you know what you're looking for and don't and don't feel like you know, oh, I, I shouldn't ask for this. Because sometimes as women, we feel like that. But trust me, don't feel like that. You are skilled. You're very competent. And you can do it. So get what you're worth. And you're worth more than what they, sometimes what they think is all. All right. That was six. Number seven. I would suggest stay at your first job at least six months to a year because 
it's good to one have them as a reference for if you want to go to another job and two it just shows like okay i am a good nurse i'm gonna be here i'm not gonna call out all the time i'm not gonna not show up i'm going to be here i'm gonna at least give you what i feel like is enough like don't feel like i'm just gonna have do it and then with this first job because oh it's just my first job no like this is a good foundation for you this is a good stepping stone and you never know where you might have to go come back to after you've done other things in the film so it's always good to just show your best face while you're there all right number eight you will deal with families in home health so i work in home health as a pediatric nurse i deal with families I deal with moms and I deal with dads. I deal with all type of people. And of course they're there because their child is going through something that is horrible and we wouldn't want our children or anyone to go through. So you want to keep in mind that these parents, they care about their child and they only want their best interest in, in you know, being taken into consideration. So just try to get along with them um always be friendly most times they're nice i've pretty much had good families the entire time i've been a nurse which is definitely a blessing um yeah i get along with them pretty well and they're so helpful and they they know their child obviously so they know what's normal what's not normal so just try to be friendly and always remember that you're there for this patient which is a you know your main concern you're an advocate for them so just keep that in mind and you'll be fine um let's see number nine never feel stagnant and get your skill set up so wherever you decide to go just learn as much as you could possibly learn like follow nurses that are seasoned that want to help you follow them and just let them be you know someone that can show you how things go if they are nice and want to help and show you this and show you that get in there where you fit in like oh you never seen a wound change let's see how you do it um you know you never seen trait care let's see how you do it like just try to get as many skills as you can get because you could take it from one job to the next and when you know more skill sets you could sell yourself more and get more money <clears throat> <laughs> so number 10 try to save money um it's really well, for me, personally, it's hard for me to save. So, I have my account set up where whenever I get my check deposited, a portion of it goes into an account where I cannot touch. And if I touch the account, the account will close. So, me just knowing like, okay, yeah, I have, I have that account in works and I have something that I know I'm saving for a greater purpose, that's good. But if you put away even $10 a paycheck, that's something like $20, anything a paycheck, it, it's good for you. It'll be, you'll see something at the end of that first year of nursing like, okay, I saved this, this is mine, and I saved it, so just keep that in mind. So, those are 10 things that I feel like every new nurse should know going into the field. Um, yeah, you'll be great. I hope these 10 things were, yes, I hope these 10 things were helpful. And if you have any experiences that you've been through as a new nurse, please comment them down below. And let me know, let 
everybody know like certain things that you've been through that you felt like hey i wish somebody had told me because it's great that we share these things as nurses we need to come together and be one okay also if you haven't hit subscribe yet please do i would love to update you on more videos that i'll be posting in the very very near future so again thank you for watching you guys have a good day bye